guys, welcome to Neon Trash. Time of the Hammer here, hanging out with BC. We're about to watch a uh, weird Asian movie called Brutal. Um, I don't really know too much about this movie. I only know the uh, distributors of the DVD, the production company. They're notorious for releasing a lot of underground and experimental films. This one definitely um, hit my radar when I heard it was uh, pretty graphic and also a pretty fucking crazy story. So I'm excited to check this out. What about you, BC? Uh, this is one that has kind of floated on my radar for a while. There's that that interesting segment of Japanese cinema where it's like very violent kind of gross movies. Yes. Um, sometimes they're good, have good effects. Sometimes they just make you feel like a terrible human being. Uh, I don't know what the general consensus is on this. I just know that this floats in that circle. So yes. I've been looking forward to seeing it. Me too. Glad I can watch it with the good friends. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to get right to it, guys. I'm going to try and dig up a trailer. Check that shit out. We'll be right back with our thoughts on the movie. some bizarre reason I don't know I was enjoying it <laughs> I don't know why some of the violence is so visceral so over the top and so off-putting that uh, there are undoubtedly gonna be viewers that come into this movie and they're gonna be turned off by it and that's okay because this is definitely not everyone's cup of tea right BC right yeah you hit the nail on the head I okay so <laughs> <laughs> when, when it comes to these extreme exploitation, ultra-violent films from Japan specifically. You know, we can think of like multiple eras of them. We have the guinea pig films, yes. uh, like late 80s to throughout the 90s. Those went for, at first, they went for like the faux snuff flick, and then they, they went through different things. Then you have the ultra-violent films of like the late 1990s, all the Yakuza movies, Takashi Miike movies. Yeah. I feel like this is, is just not as good as that that era. Agreed. And yeah. when it comes to ultra-violent films, I mean, you know me, I have to bring up Ichi the Killer. Not necessarily much better than the guinea pig films or anything like that either. It, it kind of, I don't know what it's trying to say, and <laughs> I do think, yes, it's mostly probably just trying to be a special effects show-off type of movie, like have fun, here's a bunch of guts, all this stuff. Yeah. But. I don't know, then you have this the grindhouse filter that just kind of makes the whole movie look ugly, even though, the, even though the effects are decent. Yeah. I feel like it masks them. I wasn't as irritated, I'll say that much. But I can understand irritation, for sure. Um, I've seen better, I've seen worse, and I'm glad it's in my collection, I really am, because there, I mean, there's potential here. So maybe the director moved on to better stuff, maybe the actors did too. Um, I don't know, there was moments where I thought it was very enjoyable, but then there were other moments where you're like, that was plotting, what the fuck was that all about? And the ending is fucking bonkers. So, I mean, if you want a shock show, this is it. I'm going six out of 10. Here's the thing, <laughs> even though it irritated me, I'm not like super low on this. Like it, it, it does have some good effects. Yeah. There's moments where it does accomplish its goal of grossing you out. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I can appreciate it, or I can see like that this could be appealing to a certain crowd. Yeah. So for me, I'm like at the four out of ten range. That's not bad. I hope you've been informative, guys. Till the next time, tune in to Neon Motherfucking Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that sigh. <laughs> in, the, in our lap. <laughs>